Sup it is sup everybody, hope you're all doing well and had a wonderful weekend. I finally put Persona 5 Royal behind me. I finished the impossible and what a game, a top 10 of all time. You may wonder why that's important to mention right now, but quite frankly it's because A, I'll be making a review for the game, but also B, I have more streams on the way now that I have put this gargantuan game behind me. Anyway, speaking of wonderful and big games, let's talk about Mass Effect. You like that segue? I know you do. Anyway, Mass Effect seems to be returning as I have really did a little hint hint nudge nudge on my channel months ago, but that didn't really catch fire for anybody. It kind of just led to more speculation. Mass Effect has been rumored to return to modern consoles for a while. It seems now we have true indication that is really happening thanks to EA as well as a separate report that we're going to get into today. I know this is slightly old news, but as an RPG channel, I really wanted to dig into it, talk about what I hope to see from the return of the Mass Effect trilogy and its remaster or remake because Many articles are using both words, and quite frankly, I don't think anyone knows the difference at this point in time. We'll also get into that in a little bit, but anyway, it looks like Mass Effect's coming back. I'm excited, and let's get into how this information has cropped up. So EA had given their investors an overview of their plans for about the next year. You know, they called them up and said, hey, what's good? Here's what we got going on. And they kind of spilled the beans without fully using names, but they indicated what's on the way and so one thing they're finally doing is bringing games to switch it took them how many million units of sales on the switch to actually buy into the idea that people want to use this system and people also eat up ports one of those games according to the article we're reading right now from venture beat is going to be burn out paradise remastered if i liked any racing game growing up it was absolutely burnout for sure the most vicious car crashes of all time in a video game but also they plan on bringing apex legends which makes sense and i think that'd be a great fit as the nintendo switch is very short on first person shooters. But as we go through this entire list of things coming, of course there's sports games, I just mentioned the Nintendo Switch titles, there's also the mention of an HD remake slash remaster of Mass Effect. Now you may be wondering why I'm saying remake slash remaster, they're two totally different things, they don't really fall into the same family, but as you can see here in the article that we're citing from VentureBeat, they mention at option eight that it is a HD remake of an EA game. I'm like, okay, remake makes sense. You start thinking of stuff like Final Fantasy VII, you start thinking of Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, okay, remake. But then at the end of the article, here's where the discussion gets sparked. Oh, and that HD remaster of an EA game is the Mass Effect trilogy. Just don't expect that to launch on Switch, at least not at first. See what I mean? Remake. Now he's saying remaster. If it's the trilogy, which is what Jeff here is stating, and Jeff is a reliable source of Venture Beat, then I imagine it is going to be a remaster. They're not going to remake each game in the series unless they do separate launches, but I think EA is well aware of the demand of the Mass Effect trilogy on modern consoles. You can play through them on backwards compatibility with the Xbox, but as I've said with Fallout 3 and New Vegas, the issue is that yes, you can go to Xbox to play them with backwards compatibility, or you could go on PC, and for example with Fallout 3, in my experience the GOG version works well, but it can be a little spotty on PC. And then PlayStation is just left in the dust. So there has to be a way to address all the platforms and EA certainly knows there's money to be made. Why did they wait so long to do this? I believe it's because it would have shined an even brighter light on how bad Mass Effect Andromeda was. I refer to this game as many do as the black sheep in the franchise. I think there's some things in it that are worth enjoying. I think the gameplay feels great. It's fun to play just like prior Mass Effect titles since I'd say Mass Effect 2. And there are some interesting narrative threads, but they don't really go anywhere with them. There's also a funny moment that immediately comes to mind, but outside of that, Mass Effect Andromeda was a gigantic flop. Technically, it did not live up to what the series has created in the past, and because it was so bad, they put the series on ice three years ago. And while some will sit here, like myself, and be like, well, who cares about Andromeda? Just give us the trilogy, give us what we want. As a company, EA probably saw that they would lose out on any money they invested in Andromeda if they just went ahead and immediately re-released this package of wonderful 
RPGs. But now with that reasoning in mind, it may just be a remaster, right? And for us, I'd say a remaster usually means, oh, the graphics just look a little bit better. They're touched up, the game runs smoother, but overall, nothing in the core game has changed. But I feel the definition of a remaster is really starting to shift in our industry, and I don't think there really is a clear meaning behind it. Let's take a look at some examples surrounding us. You have definitive editions, special editions, and so on and so forth. Let's take Mafia, the recently announced definitive editions. Mafia 2 is called a definitive edition now, but it's just an HD remaster. They're touching up the graphics and leaving the game as being packaging in the DLC. Meanwhile, Mafia 1 is getting totally remade but that's also being called a definitive edition. Now, technically speaking, these are the definitive editions of the game, but one is a remake, which is a whole different project compared to a remaster where the game's just being ported and then made to look better, run better, that type of stuff. I think more pertinent to what we're talking about today is the near replicant remaster, a remaster that really is much more than that. You see, if you look at near from 2010, this game had clunky combat, it didn't have really any indication of what was going to happen in Automata, and now in this remaster, I put this in quotes, they're completely overhauling the combat to be more like Automata, they're adding at least the voices from the characters of Automata to be in this game to bridge the two together, new quests, so on and so forth. So is that really a remaster or a definitive edition? It's honestly hard to tell, but remakes are really the only thing that are clear to us. You are remaking the game. You are starting from the ground up and building an older title from scratch. You're not taking anything from the original game. And so I do doubt that EA would invest that much in Mass Effect right now after seeing how Andromeda had flopped. I think they're going to take the safe route. But if they're remastering it based off what we saw with Nier, that doesn't mean, for example, that say with Mass Effect 1's combat, not the best in the series nowadays back then. Yeah, it's fine. But nowadays, no, not really. Wouldn't it be cool if they overhauled the combat? Just to make it feel better, to have more abilities, more classes. That, I think, would be great. Don't touch Mass Effect 2. Do not do that. Leave that game be. Please, don't touch it. Mass Effect 3, however, you can leave a lot of the base game, I think. But for all of us, imagine if they overhauled the ending. I mean... I think that alone would drive sales to the series, whether or not people even care. They'd just be like, what, they're changing the ending? I gotta see this whole journey through. I've been itching to go back to Mass Effect, but I just have held on for so many years that they're gonna re-release a trilogy that this is one of my more anticipated re-releases, like in that category, not anticipated games of the year, but just in the terms of remasters, re-releases, this tops the list, man, because Mass Effect is just, I remember I discovered this series when I first bought my 360 and I was like two years late to the 360 so Mass Effect 1 was like 10 bucks but when I found out it was from Bioware and I'm like wait wait I missed this and it was actually really good I mean what a great series so I do hope if anything they decide to touch up Mass Effect 1 and not leave it so far in the past because I think it's gonna alter some people's opinions on the game it's not a bad game it's got a great story but you know, you can see the age now. You can see the age. And with that, they also have to make sure they bring back that Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Oh my god, that stuff is so good. And I say that with Andromeda as well. I forgot to mention that in the beginning, but Andromeda has great multiplayer. Now, the next question that we discussed, what this remaster could be, what they could do to fix it is, where would we see it announced? How long do you think you're gonna wait, Maddie? Well, my guess is, and it's not like a big, bold prediction, it's pretty obvious, is that at the EA event on June 11th, this is where the announcement is gonna come in. There's no other date right now in the calendar before then where we're gonna see suddenly a Mass Effect remaster announcement. It's always possible that this isn't to them a very big game that they need on the stage or during their digital presentation, so to speak, where they could announce this beforehand, but I think this would help beef up their show, which has struggled for years, and I say that as someone who sort of watched from afar because I'd either be on a plane heading to E3 during this showcase and hop off and be like, did KOTOR get announced? Nope, all right, don't care. But they have to straddle that line of serving their sports consumers, which definitely make them probably the most money out of anything else in their franchise, while also satisfying core gamers like ourselves who are interested in Mass Effect or Jedi Fallen Order. And speaking of Jedi Fallen Order, it really symbolizes EA's ability to, to backtrack, I guess, because they not only said that they're interested in remastering older games, something that they had previously claimed they weren't interested in, but also that they are now referring to Jedi Fallen Order as a franchise. I don't know why my voice went up an octave there, but anyway, it becoming a franchise is significant because EA was not a believer 
in single player games and then suddenly Jedi Fallen Order sells 10 plus million copies and uh, yeah here we are with uh, EA loving their single player games so hopefully we do see more from their studios when it comes to the single player department I think they have a great portfolio of studios beneath them so hopefully EA has seen with the success that you can just give a company the keys to the castle and they'll make you your money back just let them go be creatives anyway that does it for the Mass Effect discussion I wanted to have today. I think we're going to see it at the EA Play event, which isn't too far from now, just under a month before the presentations start picking up again. I'm excited to see more from our favorite RPG series, and of course, I'll be covering it as we learn more. Once again, I do apologize that I know this video was a bit delayed on the news, but some other stuff was trending last week. Like, of course, we had the PS5 gameplay, and we can talk about Mass Effect whenever. So hopefully you guys understand, and I appreciate your patience. Anyway, now it's your turn. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think? Fire away, ladies and gentlemen. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those links are in the description down below. Big thank you to all of the patrons. We're nearing 200 patrons. This is a all-time record high, and I can't emphasize to you guys how much I genuinely appreciate this during these times. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. I just, can I hug you? Can I hug you? Come here, come here, come here. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad, huh? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.